welcome back to my channel okay so today is the day <laughs> that we are going to lose the curls y'all it is finally wash day but i wanted to show you just kind of how the curls look and you know how they held up um yeah so here i am taking out of the wrap for the day and y'all i had to wash it so i had to go ahead and make sure i get everything that i needed i went to the store picked up some aloe vera um an aloe vera, vera plant and those are so hard to find sometimes sometimes i just get two because i'd be so frustrated about not being able to find it so yeah this is what the curls look like for that day and i kind of like i said just kind of wore it up that was the easiest thing for the day and it stayed in its pineapple but honestly if it wasn't wash day i could have made those curls work for pretty much as long as i want to they kind of i think the one thing about locks is that the curls just kind of stay in it they stay in it pretty much until you wet it so that's always nice that's always fun you know you got to start to scratch and once you start scratching in one spot everybody else be like you got to scratch over here too <laughs> and then just be a never ending scratching fit all right, so let me show you. So I have not researched enough to find my new shampoo. So I'm still using a head and shoulders, but I do want to find like a nice moisturizing shampoo. And I put a good size amount and replenish it if needed. I really like putting it inside of a jar because when it comes to wash day, my main, main, main focus is my roots. As you know, if you follow my channel, I do not put... Um, any product in my hair so I take quite a bit and I go ahead and I put it in my roots but I'm getting ahead of myself so <laughs> my name is Tiana and I do all kinds of things on this channel following my micro locks journey is one of the biggest things but I have so many back recorded videos so many like sewing videos and projects that hopefully one day God willing I'll get out and you all will be able to see them but yes, yeah, so I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I do do a lot of things with hair. I have so many videos to get out to you all. So hopefully you all will see them. And I thought it would be fun to kind of share my routine. Um, just changing my hairstyle from curly to straight. But essentially it is a wash day now. I do have on my channel, everything that you will see in this channel has its own separate video. Um, previously made, so like my wash day, there's definitely a wash day video on my channel so you can check that out and you'll see the other things that i do there are videos for all of it so when it comes to my wash day my main focus like i said is my roots so i'm just kind of going in putting it in my roots and massaging it as i go along as well a healthy portion goes in um but the good thing about this shampoo is that it spreads really really well so even though it's in my roots by time i start working through it and when i'm ready to pull it down to the rest of the strands it goes down pretty easily but um in the beginning it kind of looks like uh like i'm doing a relaxer here when i'm all done because only my roots are white but yeah you put that in there and i try to feel around to see if i see anybody that maybe i missed but i always try to massage it in and because my hair i really want to get a good good wash in it i made sure that this sat on for a little bit before i even went to rinse it out so yes, absolutely scrubbing it. I noticed though when I watched these videos, I never got to wear my hair in a style where my all my back was out so that you could see all the curls from the back. So maybe next time that I do the curls, I'll do the back as well. Now, I did debate trying another hairstyle because there's other hairstyles that I really want to try. But I was like, no, let me just do my normal routine because it is definitely definitely retie time so i do need to retie it soon so i'm just going to do my normal routine here so that my roots are ready for the retie and hopefully i will get to that this week or in a couple of days as well so yep quite a few curls still in there All right, so now we're moving on to the aloe vera. And again, I have a lot of videos on my channel. And the aloe vera plant and how I do it is one of them. My newest way is the way I kind of stick with, which is just kind of cut the shell away from the actual inside of the plant. 
put it into my blender so that I can actually blend it. And that kind of is the easiest, easiest way. The only thing is that it does come out thin. It comes out thinner than had I scraped the plant with a spoon. So that's my only downfall. And then with aloe vera, you kind of got to be careful because if it dries on your hair before it soaks into your hair, it will leave like white flakes on your locks for a little bit until those flakes kind of like brush themselves out. But yeah, I blended it and I was really into this foamy look. So this time I decided to actually use it while it was still foamy. Usually I wait for all the foam to go down and it becomes a liquid, but I was like, you know what? Let me try it while it is still foamy because I really like the texture. It had a good like almost creamy consistency. So I really liked that. I thought I could work with that. All right, so my hair was washed, and like I said, I have a wash day routine on my channel, so you're welcome to watch it. Most times I wash my hair, though, when I'm in a shower because I want my hair to kind of stay down. I don't want to be in a sink and throw my hair all upside down, um, so usually it gets washed in the shower. This is what it looks like after it's come out the towel. It doesn't have any products in it, but so this is what it looks like when it's kind of damp. Um, it's mostly dry when you come when it comes out the towel and I did have the towel on the entire time that I made the aloe vera solution as well so I'm taking it right out of the cup that I blended it in putting it in one of these other glass containers I like the glass containers but I also like the smaller ones just because um, I need to be able to again dip a few fingers in and scrape it out and I actually had more <laughs> than I wanted so I put some back because once I dip my hands in it if you've ever like put something in your scalp and then put it into your hair and then went back to that same product you know how like sometimes you get tiny pieces of hair in it and I don't want to reuse that part so here's a little bit that I got on my hand and I use like four fingers or so. Again, I really, really like the consistency of it while it was foamy. And you do have to be careful because if the aloe vera doesn't dry, it will give you flakes. So um, I kind of use more than I planned to use, but it just felt so good. Like the, the foamy creaminess of it felt really, really good on my scalp. So I just kind of helped myself there. And thankfully, thank God, when I did go to finish it out, it didn't leave too many flakes um, and too many noticeable flakes on my hair. So that was awesome. But yes, I'm putting it in and I'm kind of massaging it through as well. And because I'm trying to avoid those flakes, that's why I'm kind of massaging it. So once I put a few in, I massage it and kind of get it to make sure that it's soaking into my strands. Because as I mentioned, I do need the retie. So since I need the retie, I have loose hair at, at my roots. So I knew that aloe vera would be able to soak into the, into those parts. So I wanted to make sure it really soaked into my scalp and that it really, really soaked into my roots. So just massaging that in as well as I can, carrying some down to the ends of the locks. I'm not so much concerned about like the mid shaft part of it as I am maybe the bottom of the locks in the top part but as you can see it soaked in pretty well so that was great that was awesome and now we are wrapping this thing up finally 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 get into my blow drying part again there is a video on my channel about how i do the tension blow dry method for my locks i don't think yet since i've been locked that i've allowed it to dry um air drying one because my ends are so are still loose and my hair is extremely extremely curly um i have 4z hair y'all type 4z hair and because of that i'm nervous that if i let it air dry that the ends of it will tangle so while i'm drying it by hand and kind of using the tension method i can kind of feel through and see any ends that are trying to tangle into each other because of the curls and kind of like detangle it along the way but yeah, I'm drying it. And what I did do, um, because obviously I'm not doing this whole process with my hair covered. What I did do and what I have to usually do most times is really just focus on the roots quite a bit. 
um, before I even start carrying the blow dryer down the shaft, down the whole um, hair strand. So I have to do the roots quite a bit and make sure that it gets dry. And let me tell you, I feel like the more my hair is interlocked and the longer they have been, it takes it longer and longer to dry. So I am so tired in this video, <laughs> y'all. So tired in this video, but I really need to wash my hair. But y'all, it did not even dry all the way. So by the end, it's probably like 85% dry. And by that point, I was just like, you know what? This is as good as it's going to get. We're just going to put this in a pineapple and call it a day and let it finish air drying overnight and for the next day. But yeah, when I do the tension method, I hit the roots first for quite a bit and try to get them as dry as possible. And then I go down the shaft and kind of stretch out, but also detangle the ends along the way. And there was one more thing that I thought was important. I can't remember anymore. I don't know, but hopefully I will hopefully remember. Oh, that's what I want to say. So, be one when I go to end it, I always make sure that I do a cool shot. So, especially since, like I said, my hair was only eighty five percent dry. <laughs> Um, I have to always do a cool shot to kind of seal in the fact that, um, I guess I, to seal in the fact that it was dried in the first place, um, and to kind of seal in the fact that it was stretched out as well. I don't want to end on it being on high heat or on medium heat with it being warm. I try to end on a cool shot, but yes, we are done. And as you can see, thank God I did not see a lot of those flakes. I saw like maybe a few, but it's not noticeable all around, but yeah. Like I said, I was a little sad about, you know, losing the curls, but y'all, when I finished, I was so happy. I felt so refreshed. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, adios.